Welcome back to Metal of Honor. This is a short video, but quite an important one. Um, you see from the thumbnail, cleaning a file. The, uh, the one in question here in the video is uh, cut one. So uh, not the roughest, but for visually capture, capturing it on camera, um, it's got a nice grain to the file to actually pick up the details uh, on the footage. This does work the same technique for even not like a cut two or cut four. Um, cut four, you might end up wanting to put on some uh, like magnifiers just so you can make sure you're getting down the grooves. But it's um, it's just a very simple video, and you'll know it needs to be done. Not only will you see lots of little spots of silver, gold, and platinum and stuff uh, all in like, like the grains of the file, but when you're actually filing a flat or like a smooth surface, even if it's on a curve, actually, um, but any sort of long surface is when it's more noticeable. Um, but uh, say you've just used like a really rough file and all like the scratches are like so far apart, it's all got that same look. Then you go down to say this one, which is like the cut one, and sort of going all over it, filing all, all like the areas that you need to, but they'll just be like, two or three little drag marks over it and you file it a bit more those little drag marks will come out but it'll be putting a couple more in um, if you haven't noticed it before after seeing this sort of clean up um, and the next time you sort of do some filing you'll see these little drag marks and you think oh you know what I bet it's that and it's quite simply that just some parts just get so clogged up there'll be a little bit more sort of swarf just protruding a little bit that just wants to stick there and just put a nasty little burnish mark in and um but, but this is the way and it's so simple it's only like a few minutes um on this video and probably like double if i wanted to do the whole file um yeah it's quite easy so you see we've got the file here um just like a little off cut of silver um even if you mainly work with platinum or gold still use the silver um, there's no point using any more expensive metal. Um, and this this bit is about like a two mil bit of sheet. It's just like an off cut corner. I'm just holding it on a sharp bit and just going sideways. After you do two or three of these, like you can see on the video, after you go down the, the grooves sort of uh, perpendicular to the um, length of the file, when you're getting in those grains, after you've done two or three, maybe four sort of um, passes, It'll, your actual um, bit of sheet on that corner will get a little, it will actually take the shape of whatever cut file that you're using. And just simply doing like a couple of strokes up and down um, until you've got all of it. It's, it's that simple. Um, obviously you can buy like those sort of brass wire brushes more for like cleaning files and the only time I really use them is, is if I'm using the welder, um, sort of making big steel things, and I'll sort of be brushing off all um, uh, any sort of excess bits that I don't want there, and just to clean the area. But on the files, they just don't get down the grooves. Um, and it doesn't matter if you're filing anything as soft as fine silver up to steel. Um, those wire brushes, that they're just... They're just not effective. Um, even if you put it in the ultrasonic, it's, it might clean a few bits out, but you've got the risk of it not drying properly and um, possibly going rusty. But you see how quick this is to do. Um, it's just come out so smooth. Um, well, let's say smooth, like um, consistently smooth, not with lots of little bits sticking out. You can see there, just like a little bench brush, just having a little sweep over just removes the excess and now here you can see that the, the main difference and right in the middle of the screen now you've actually got like a little wobbly bit of swarf and that's the sort of little bit that's going to create those drag marks um yeah that, that, that's it for this uh first video for like, like a little bit of tool care i did do like a short on this quite a while ago but um i thought now i've done a few videos and that i might be able to with some better um, camera angles, I might just be able to get some better footage and sort of explain it properly. But this is very important. 
Um, and you can do that at the back of the file in the same way. Obviously, you're going to be sort of going over sort of motion. That, that's a little bit slower. But um, it's mainly the flat sides of the files that people use the most. And so they will generally be the bits that clog up the most. Um, but yeah, give it a go and you'll be amazed at how quick it is to do and how nice your files are. You just feel the cut nicer after. Um, but yeah, give it a try. Especially if you've never done it before, guarantee you it probably needs doing. So um, yeah, yeah, jump on your bench, give it a go, have a, clean a few of your files and see what difference it makes. The next video like this I'll do, well, next week's video is going to be um, like a chunky bracelet, um, sort of showing you like the main part of each link and the whole thing together. Um, but the next little tool care video, which may be in like two weeks time, uh, I imagine, is going to be like the, uh, the wooden hand clamps. You see me use on all my videos where it's got the little uh, pivot in the middle, like the hinge, um, where you put like the wedge in to like jam your work, like wedge your work in. Um, but changing the leather strips, or well, sort of choosing what leather to go on the strip and showing you um, like, like a variation of like the thickness of the leather for what I do. Um, but that'll be the next one. And that's really helpful because I've seen some people really sort of muck around doing that before cutting the lever out perfectly, then trying to glue it in place, sort of like completely straight. But it's that'll be like another short video that's just saves you so much time in the long run and hopefully make a lot more sense. But yeah, thank, thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the previous uh, comments. If you're new to the channel, there's loads more tutorials already that I've already sort of uh, released. Um, I'm sure so everyone will... Uh, there's definitely some. There's definitely a video there for that will help everybody. Um, but yeah, yeah, have a little browse and uh, please like and subscribe um, just to see all like the follow-up videos for everything else. And there's a few of the videos that that are already sort of in the making. But some of those videos of like all the pieces coming together that will be coming soon as well. Um, and still probably about a year, well over a year's worth of videos that I've got planned. So it's just squeezing it all in. But yeah, thanks again for watching and take care.